Believe it or not, there are some people out there that prefer to play their Atari 2600 games on real hardware rather than using emulation. Knowing this, yeah, you could insert the specific game cartridge you're interested in playing directly into the console, then swap it out with another cartridge, and so on. Up until fairly recently, that's what you had to do. Over time, this can create a lot of wear and tear on both the cartridge and the console. Enter the Atari Harmony cartridge. With this cartridge, all you have to do is load up the SD card with the ROMs you're interested in playing, and technically you may never need another physical cartridge again. Originally released in 2009, the Harmony cartridge has gone through a couple of revisions. The latest version is titled the Harmony Encore. This version boasts of 100% compatibility with all Atari 2600 games, or at least that's their goal. The Harmony Encore supports game ROM sizes all the way up to 512K, which is truly amazing, especially considering the earliest Atari games were a mere 2K in total ROM size. Reading from the Atari Harmony website, the Harmony cartridge is a simple, affordable, time-saving, space-saving, hassle-free way to play hundreds of games on your Atari 2600 console. Using a Harmony cartridge is easy. Just insert the Harmony cartridge into your console slot the same way you would with any ordinary Atari game cartridge. Put your favorite game binaries on an SD card, pop it into the Harmony cartridge, and you're ready to go. Turn on the console, select the game you want to play from the list, and start having fun. And then there are two versions of the Harmony cartridge. The standard edition, which includes just the cartridge and the plain paper manual. You supply your own SD card and USB mini B cable for programming and BIOS updates. And then there's the deluxe edition, which includes a color printed manual, a USB mini B cable, and a 2 gig or larger SD or SDHC card. On the card are the programming software drivers, online manual, and homebrew games that you are encouraged to try, such that you may one day purchase them from the Atari Age store. Currently, Harmony Encore is only available in a standard edition, in either SD or micro SD versions. This includes just the cartridge, a plain paper manual, and an addendum that highlights the new features. You supply your own SD card and USB mini B cable for programming and BIOS updates. When you visit the site to purchase the Harmony cartridge, you are presented with a couple of options. You can purchase the older version in both SD and micro SD varieties for about $60. You may also purchase a used Harmony cartridge for just $49 while supplies last. My recommendation would be to go with the Encore, which is a more future-proof variety of the Harmony cartridge and supports up to 512K ROMs. Yeah, at $85 it is a little more expensive, but I believe it's well worth it. This is the Atari Harmony Encore cartridge, which I purchased in October of 2014. So I've had it for a couple of years now. So uh, I've had a lot of experience using this. And this is a terrific cartridge. And uh, on the Atari Age website where you purchase the Harmony cartridge, uh, it's only available in the standard edition which means you have to supply the SD card and you do not get a cable to do for doing the firmware updates, the little USB cable right here. And the manual comes in a standard black and white, which uh, looks like this in instead of a color manual, color printed, and there's no there was no box that came with this. But this manual that it comes with is packed full of information. So let's take a look at the manual here in more detail. So the manual has a little table of contents with the introduction. Let's see if I can focus that. Getting started with Harmony, Harmony firmware upgrading, frequently asked questions. Harmony file extensions, technical specifications, and acknowledgments. So it shows right here the the uh, back side of the cartridge where you slow, where you put the SD card and the mini USB port. This isn't the same USB uh, cable or uh, end that you use for your smartphones. It's it's a little different. It's it's got the more of a square shape rather as opposed to a flatter shape and I'm sorry that I don't know the exact name for that but it's, it's called a mini USB and the following equipment is required to use the Harmony cartridge an Atari 2600, an Atari 7800 or 
other Atari 2600 compatible console, a Windows, Macintosh, or Linux based computer to transfer the data on the SD card, an SD card adapter for your computer, an SD or SDHC card up to 32 gigs of capacity, and a mini USB cable. Only required for updating the firmware. So there is a lot of information here in the manual. The, uh, S, the uh, Har Harmony Encore is approximately $80 on Atari Age and it boasts compatibility with I believe it showed it boasted compatibility with all ROMs. It says right here, what games do not work on the Harmony Encore? None that we know of. If you find one that does not work, please let us know. Provided the game does not exceed 512K, we should be able to support it. So, you know, they can't predict the future, basically, is what they're saying. But they don't know of any ROMs that don't work with this cartridge. Now, on the other hand, with the standard edition of the Harmony, the non-Encore version, there may be some... I think it doesn't it doesn't support it only supports up to 32k games. So even though there's not very many, I don't I can't even name one ROM <laughs> that goes to 512. I'm not aware of which ones go that high, but um, um, this one is supposedly compatible with all of them. But now knowing that and knowing that there isn't that many there aren't that many games that are not compatible with the Harmony standard cartridge you can save money by purchasing the standard cartridge uh, for about sixty dollars as opposed to paying eighty dollars and then also if you don't mind you can save even a little bit more money by purchasing a like a used version of a harmony cartridge for forty nine dollars on their website so this is my quick overview of the harmony cartridge it's a beautiful cartridge and it, it's it's very compatible with, uh, there's no game that I've tried that this doesn't work with so and it runs your homebrews as well as your standard ROMs and it's a terrific little device and it saves wear and tear on your Atari 2600 so you don't have to constantly go looking up that cartridge plug it in unplug it plug in another cartridge so I highly recommend this All right, so let's go ahead and plug in the Harmony cartridge into my main daily driver Atari 2600 here. Pretty much the cartridge is just like any other cart. It works in your 2600 and your your uh, difficulty switches still everything still applies. Everything works the way it's supposed to or the way it used to. Okay, this is the Harmony cartridge. And this is the title screen that gives credit to all the people that worked on the project. Uh, if you have your joystick plugged in, you just push the button. And then the way it's laid out is through, through the way you organize it on your SD card. So however you named the files, I happen to have created um, the folders here uh, alphabetized. And then I have some Atari homebrews on here. And so all you do is you push the fire button to go into a directory up or down on your joystick to move up. You can also control this with your paddle controller and it works great. So I want to try out one of my favorite games which was Pac-Man 8K from Nuki Shea. And so he took the original game and improved it. And I, I, I really like his, his changes that made a lot of uh, sense here. Changed the color scheme and everything. And so anyway, when you get out of that, you go back into your menus and then you can go to another ROM. Anyway, that is how you navigate through your ROMs using the Harmony cartridge.